A class action lawsuit alleges a Hyundai subsidiary conspired with labor recruiters to do the following, abuse the visa immigration system, skirt labor law, and lie to Mexican migrants. Now there is a lot going on here, so let's get some context. My name is Joseph, and this is the Atlanta Journal-Constitution in context. So to really get our heads around what's happening here, let's separate this lawsuit into two parts. The original filing over the summer and the amendment in November. Now in the summer filing of the class action lawsuit, it alleges worker discrimination. It says a Hyundai subsidiary paid its Mexican workers less than their US counterparts for the same or similar work. Ben Boltz, the legal director of the organization representing the migrant workers, said, quote, one very important element of success of the auto industry appears to be exploiting migrant workers, and it's really depressing labor standards for all. And that point about exploiting migrant workers ties into the November Amendment. It says a Hyundai subsidiary and two other Georgia-based companies conspired to defraud the U.S. government and Mexican workers, and they allegedly did this through exploiting the visa program between the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. Okay, so to legally bring Mexican workers into the U.S., the defendants use something called the TN visa, and this visa is only meant for highly skilled jobs in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico. And just so there's no confusion about what a high skilled job is, the US State Department published a list of jobs that fall into that category. Jobs like engineers and technicians are professions covered by the TN visa program. And importantly, assembly line work is not. Now, US authorities actually vet TN visa applications and job offers before migrants travel. But once they actually report to work, there is no government oversight. So these three defendants allegedly posted technician and engineering jobs, got Mexican workers to the US US and then exploited the lack of government oversight to put these workers on the assembly line. Okay, so now that we know what the lawsuit says, let's talk about the defendants and their responses. When the suit was first filed over the summer, a Hyundai Mobius spokesperson told the AJC via email, the company is, quote, an equal employment opportunity employer. Mobius denies the allegations contained in, in the complaint and will vigorously defend the claim. But Hyundai Mobius did not respond to requests for comment since the new allegations were filed in November. As far as the recruiters in a joint statement, they said, quote, there are two sides to every story and we intend to vigorously defend the claims made against our clients. So now that you have the information and the context, we want to hear from you. How do you feel about this story? Let me know any and all thoughts in that comment section down below. And hey, while you're down there leaving that carefully worded and respectful comment, go ahead and press that subscribe button if you haven't already so you never miss a video. Press press the like button if you like this video. Share with someone who you think would like this information. But as always, my name is Joseph and this is the Atlanta Journal Constitution in context.